Coming off of their second straight semifinal appearance from Pepperdine, joining me, Kristen Dowling, Monique Andriolo, and Malia Bambrick. Malia, where are you in terms of kind of your mindset at such an abrupt ending to the season and just wanting to be back out there? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all pretty excited just to have the opportunity to even have the season. You know, uh, a couple months ago, I probably wouldn't have expected this to even be possible. So I think we're just working day in and day out and just super grateful to be able to play. For you, Coach, what would you say has been your biggest challenge from the season end to where you are? Gosh, that's a loaded question, Nicole. <laughs> You're like keeping the mask on, making uh, sure nothing gets fogged up. Yeah, I, I'll be, I, biggest challenge, there's been many, um, but I would probably say one of them is like, I just, I love giving our players high fives and, I'm a hugger and like, those are totally things you're not supposed to do right now. So I don't know that that's a big challenge, but that's just a, something I, I still have to catch myself every day with. Um, and then I think probably the biggest challenge would just be adjusting my own expectations. Cause this is, like you said, this is a different season than any of us have ever experienced. So I just have to be flexible as the coach and adjust as things change. All right. So with that, what are your expectations this season coach? I think, um, our expectations are to just play really hard, um, coach up our young women, make the best of every opportunity. I mean, obviously, of course, we would all say, I think that we want to, you know, win it, you know, compete with the top of the conference, win a championship. Um, but I think we've realized there's a lot out of our control. So we're just going to make the best of every opportunity we have. But I think we have a really good team and I think we'll surprise some people. I wasn't surprised with the preseason rankings because I don't think a lot of people know us. Um, and that's okay. And we don't really care about that. We just want to, you know, we want, we talk about being ranked at the end. That's what we want. Bringing back three starters here, Monique, who would you say is the most vocal leader of the team? Um, I think as returners, all three of us are pretty good um, leaders of our team. We've really taken all the new people under our wing, um, which has been helpful for them and then helpful for us as a, um, as a whole team. And being a senior this year, like I know my leadership role has definitely stepped up. So I think I'll just continue to do that throughout the season. Malia, how do you feel about the team, the composition right now and the message that you're sending as a leader? Yeah, I think kind of going off of what Mo said, a big part of it right now is just getting the new people acclimated. I mean, we have a handful of new people. So um, now that me, Mo and Jay are kind of taking over as like a leadership role, I think that's been a huge uh, focus right now is just getting everybody on the same page. Like Mo said, continuing to work hard um, and just welcoming everybody in so we can all get onto the same page for this season. Mo, you had a breakout year last year. So how do you continue that knowing that you have a whole new set of challenges ahead of you? I think just um, building off that momentum, I think just really just going for it. I mean, this is my senior year, so nothing to hold back and um, just, just not being so hard on myself and just letting letting things happen. And I know that will work for myself and definitely for the team too. Malia, individually, when you look at your own goals for the season, what are those? I think to continue to grow as a player, um, I'd like to continue to be consistent um, on the court as a player and also a leader. Um, and also, I think just as a team, we really want to get a championship, but also just compete at the highest level every night. Coach, with this being your first full recruiting class, what's the level of comfort? I know you have all these other variables that might make you feel uncomfortable, but in a normal coaching season for you, what does it feel like? Oh, I'm excited. Like, I just feel like, um, you know, our, our newcomers who, again, are a combination of freshmen and transfers, um, have brought a ton of energy and have been great uh, followers. And I think our returners have done a great job of being great leaders. Um, and so I just like the environment is really positive and um, they're excited to play. And I, I, you know, obviously COVID has changed things, but I just couldn't be more excited um, with the group that we have here.